the society for nearly 20 years. And the sanctity of motherhood program is among the most important. And I'm a chairman of the board of trustees of this program. And uh, since uh, 2006, we have been working upon improving the demographic situation in Russia and strengthening the positive image of family in society. And before I proceed to the core idea of my presentation, I would like to take this opportunity and brief you about the main initiatives of our programs. In the course of our work in the regions of Russia, we meet representatives of those social forces who, that carry out initiatives similar to the ones of ours in goals and objectives. We enjoy cooperation with educational institutions, physicians, journalists, artists, experts in sociology, demography, information technology, and we work with, in close cooperation with the Russian Orthodox Church, hierarchical clergy. And it's the church that draws people's attention to the spiritual side of family life and axiological foundation of family. And to connect all these elements into a network structure, we convened the Forum of the Sanctity of Motherhood program in Moscow in 19, in 2010. Hundreds of participants from various parts of the country and abroad, representatives of governmental bodies, members of NGOs, as well as clergymen attended this meeting. And this forum adopted a resolution, the specific provision of which were proposed to include into the report at the State Council of Russia. In particular, the necessity was announced to expand the system of motherhood protection centers, I mean health and social assistance centers, as well as the, the desirability of so-called meditation week introduction. And during this week, a pregnant woman intending to have an abortion is to be provided with necessary psychological and social assistance aimed at keeping the pregnancy. <laughs> we simultaneously developed several projects within the Center of Motherhood program. The first project to be mentioned is You Are Not Alone. And the main objective of the project is to help a pregnant woman find herself in difficult situation and to prevent abortion. And approximately 15% of women who were provided with similar consultation kept their pregnancies. And of course, we strive not to limit our support with consultancy. Uh, we provide the family with further assistance. And it's significant that none of these women who maintained pregnancy did not abandon the child. And to extend this activity through entire Russia, we develop training courses for psychologists who specialize in anti-abortion consultations. Another project implemented with the Center of Motherhood program is the development of a volunteerism. We involve young people in carrying out specific duties to support families in need. And that helps young volunteers to obtain important life experience of active social response. We consider educational work to be one of important components of our program. And these efforts are to help people to understand that it's possible to achieve harmony in life with building a strong family and upbringing children. We pay special attention to cooperation with media. It led us to initiation of the so-called Strengthening of Family Values in Media Memorandum. And this memorandum reminds of the social responsibility of the media for the society, morals and spirituality. And more than a thousand representatives from mass media 
from different regions of the country have already signed, already signed this memorandum. And we initiated regional bill draft concerning the creation of public council on television. The enrollment of this legislation in the region is aimed at affecting the real opportunity for community to limit the spread of pseudo values and the true in the inner world of a human being. And those are a very short outlook, the main initiatives of the Center of Motherhood program, which could give you the scale of the practical work we do. And now I'd like to share with you our views concerning the modern family values, which form the grounds for our work. It has become obvious today that the formation of authentic women roles, crisis of the family, and the demographic decline of the links of are uh, links of one chain having common dysfunctional consequences for society and individuals. That is why, in the context of the massive craze regarding women's rights and gender equality, it's extremely important to discuss the genuine ontological women's role, which is to be a good mother for her children. But why the fundamentals of the feminine universe are being distorted starting from the end of the 19th century? The origin of this phenomena is exceptionally complicated and I think we have not enough time to consider it. But secularization of the family life, disruption and erosion of the religious understanding of the nature of matrimony, along with the spreading feminism and liberal ideology, have made the concepts of women's emancipation and freedom from the family very popular. In the beginning of the 21st century, the said global process have led to the social situation that are commonly treated as absurd and improbable. In the US, for example, the notion of mother and father are being replaced by parent one and parent two. The United Kingdom authorities plan to use officially such neutral terms as spouses and partners instead of husband and wife. And unfortunately, this is not a play of words, but rather a plain devolution of the fundamental and symbolic meanings of the definitions of woman and man, father and mother, and along with the disruption of the traditional family moral. The most Russians, these changes, for most Russians, these changes are the blasphemy, as Russia is a country of deep family traditions. The October Revolution in 1917 was an important milestone in transformation of the social role of the woman and the family in Russia. Its influence was multi-sided. The woman received a right for universal free education from elementary to high levels, equal rights with men, and a de facto equal participation in all spheres of life, in economy, culture, science, etc. Even in the outer space, our Valentina Terishkova was the first woman in the world. The October Revolution had also a strong impact on family. I mean its intention to liberate the, liberate the woman from the family fetus and legalization of abortions. Thus, the post-revolutionary legalization of abortions and destruction of religious fundamentals of marriage undermined the concept of sanctity and divine secret of the motherhood, as well as the social strength of family. So, now the main issue became the problem of low, low birth rate. In the 1990s, the country overcame so-called Russian cross. When the birth rate and mortality curves crossed 
and the birth rate went below the death rate. And until now, the family demographic issues remain the heel of heels for the Russian society. And uh, substantial improvement of the demographic situation is exceptionally difficult in spite of the efforts of the country's leadership in recent years and active stand of the Russian Orthodox Church in this issue. It's not easy to withstand the global macro-social tendencies, refocusing their young people from a family-oriented way, way of life toward individualism and refusal of the marriage, the family and the children. But still, these tendencies as well as the woes and tragedies uh, which fell to the lot of our people at the end of the 20th century did not ruin the social cultural fundamentals of the Russian society, which include commitment to the family as a top priority of human life. In conclusion, I would like to draw your attention to another Russian peculiarity. Our panel is called authentic women and rediscovering homemaking. In context of Russia, there is no need to return Russian women to the family and homemaking. Despite the achieved equality, as it was said before, the majority of Russian women view the family as the main purpose of their lives. A married woman mother still thinks about comfort and cleanliness of her home. She takes care of her children and husband. She cooks food, etc. Meanwhile, single women dream of being married. Grandmothers and grandfathers still play an important role in our families, and they willingly and gladly help their children to bring up grandchildren. I have four of them. <laughs> but uh, our misfortune, in my opinion, that the society has lost the understanding of the sanctity of motherhood. Thank you for your attention.